It's a world first. The sheep chip. It may look small, but it's a giant leap for sheep breeding. Potentially, it will be able to perhaps double the rate of genetic gain. Scientists from 32 organisations in 19 countries collaborated to produce the sheep chip. That way around. They're in the International Sheep Genomics Consortium, a partnership of scientists and funding agencies in New Zealand, Australia, the UK and the United States. They cracked the non-repetitive half of the sheep genome to produce this new genetic tool. It detects genetic variation at 60,000 points on the sheep genome, uncovering small genetic differences for important sheep traits. The consortium's developing genomic resources for public use. Being able to access these resources will help researchers in each country find genes for important animal traits. These chips that we're talking about, these 60k chips, will be used on the breeding candidates. They will be used probably only on uh, what are called sires to breed sires. So these are the males that are at the very top tier of the industry. The starting point is getting a blood sample from a sheep. Its DNA is extracted so the sheep chip can detect DNA markers for important breeding traits. Traits like, say, lamb survival, um, the longevity of the ewes, uh, how efficient ewes are for the amount of feed they eat, which of course is very expensive, the carcass yield or the meat quality, you know, the eating properties of the meat, all these things that are very expensive and you either have to kill the animal or it takes a long time to do the measurements. The sheep chip will be used to examine genetic differences in more than 40 sheep breeds around the world. The work behind the chip development is a tale of impressive international science collaboration. So hang on, there's a 60k one there. Initial sequencing of the genome was jointly done at the Baylor College of Medicine's Genome Sequencing Centre in Texas and at the University of Otago in New Zealand. We actually uh, had the role of, of basically taking the sheep genome and fragmenting it into small pieces and then finding out what those pieces actually were. Meanwhile in Texas, Baylor College of Medicine's contribution has also been significant. The Ovine Genome Project has been a true international collaboration involving groups all around the Pacific Ocean. Here at Baylor College of Medicine we are pleased to have contributed and to build upon the work that we did before in the human and other species and to join with our colleagues in producing resources and reagents that will truly transform the practice of animal genetics in this species. Enter Illumina, the biotech company in the United States who did additional sequencing. That sequencing data was then analysed by teams in New Zealand's AgriSearch and Australia's CSIRO. And we basically picked the best one, moved along the genome, picked the next, bit, the next SNP for the best SNP in that region of the genome and then just walked all the way along the genome until we'd picked about um, 60,000 SNPs. The international collaboration to develop the sheep chip needed $2 million of funding. It came from a number of countries in Australia from an Australian Government International Science Linkages Grant, the University of Sydney and Sheep Genomics Partners meet in Livestock Australia and Australian Wool Innovation Limited. In New Zealand from Avita, a consortium of Ag Research and Meat and Wool New Zealand. Other contributions came from Genesis Faraday UK and USDA funding to Utah State University. So we've got a week of training now. There's already strong demand for the sheep chip with orders for more than 20,000 from research teams around the world. And for sheep breeders, commercial breeding tools developed from the sheep chip should be available in about 18 months. I think we feel that we're really doing something that will change the face of um, sheep research forever.